yellow cap favorites gone big time. More pizza, more pasta. Now with chicken strips and sloppy wedges. Eat up big time. My Mix XL, available near you or online. Senators grill officials involved in the controversial procurement by the Department of Education of 2.4 billion pesos worth of outdated laptops through the Procurement Service of the Department of Budget and Management or PSDBM. During the Senate Blue Ribbon Committee hearing on Thursday, August 25, fingers are pointed as committee members are questioned about the fiasco. Asked why he agreed to the new price pegged by the PSDBM, former Deputy Undersecretary Alain Pasqua says he was given an action slip signed by Information Communications Technology Director Abram Abanil. The approved budget for the contract was set only at 35,046 pesos and 50 centavos per unit, while the new price pegged by the PSDBM was at 58,300 pesos per unit. The signed action slip also contained an option to purchase laptops in lesser quantity. Abanil says he consulted Pasco about the action slip before signing it. But Pasco maintains he did not agree on the price set by the PSDBM and only agreed to buy the lesser quantity at the PSDBM set price. Because of the 66% price jump from its original cost, the debit only bought 39,583 units, almost half of the 68,500 laptops intended for teacher beneficiaries. Police arrest Adora Faye de Vera, allegedly a ranking officer of a communist group operating in Western Visayas, for alleged murder charges. During a press briefing Thursday, August 25, Philippine National Police Chief General Rodolfo Azurin Jr. says, Adora Faye is now under the custody of Kalinog Municipal Police in Iloilo and is facing charges for multiple murder and multiple frustrated murder with the use of explosives. The PNP chief adds the suspect also faces a separate criminal case for the crime of rebellion. De Vera is the older sister of Commission on Higher Education or CHED chairperson Prospero De Vera III. In a statement, the CHED chairperson distances himself from his sister's arrest and reiterates his stand against communist insurgency. He says, I fully support the administration of President Ferdinand Bongbong Marcos Jr. in its efforts to end the communist insurgency that has destroyed so many lives and properties. He also says he has not seen his sister and has not spoken to her for more than 25 years since she decided to rejoin the underground movement. Prospero is silent on his sister's torture and rape under the Marcos dictatorship. Adora Fe was arrested at least twice under the regime of dictator Ferdinand in Marcos in 1976 and in 1983. Need more context, clarity, and perspective? Get the full picture with Rappler Plus. With exclusive content and events, you'll get an opportunity to discuss issues with reporters, experts, and featured guests while helping Rappler continue its fearless journalism. Join now. The World Health Organization on Thursday, August 25, reports more than 41,000 cases of monkeypox and 12 deaths from 96 countries, with the majority of cases coming from the United States. Based on WHO's latest epidemiological report, the number of cases reported globally declined 21% last week after a month-long trend of rising infections. WHO Director General Tedros Adhanom Ghebreyesus says there are signs the outbreak is slowing in Europe where a combination of effective public health measures, behavior change, and vaccination is helping to prevent transmission. Still, more than a dozen countries see a rise in weekly case numbers with the highest increase reported in the United States. Over 34% of the current global case count is in the United States. The WHO declared the outbreak a global health emergency in July. Ben and Ben digs deep into the feels with the release of their latest single, The Ones We Once Loved. The song is a piano-driven ballad addressed to a former lover. Vocalist and songwriter Paolo Benjamin shares in an Instagram post that the song came as he processed the end of his own long-term relationship. But guitarist Poch Barreto shares that as heartbreaking as the song is, the recording sessions for it were fun. The group is currently gearing up to perform for their biggest live audience in over two years, their send-off concert for their North American tour. The send-off concert is set to happen on September 3, while their North American tour kicks off on September 23 in San Francisco. Meantime, K-pop girl group TWICE drops the music video of Talk That Talk, the lead single of their newest comeback mini-album, Between 1 and 2. 
The music video features twice in a colorful cyber and Y2K inspired world where past and future technology meet. Talk That Talk leads the six other tracks of Between 1 and 2. Between 1 and 2 marks Twice's first comeback album in almost eight months, following the release of their third studio album, Formula of Love, in October 2021. Chris Aquino's medical team is still working to find the right treatment as she is diagnosed with new autoimmune diseases in the United States. Chris's eldest sister, Balsi Aquino, gave an update on the actress's health, saying due to Chris's allergies, the medicines being given to her haven't been working. Balsi also reveals Chris's weight is not even 90 pounds. Despite this, she says that Chris still has a strong fighting spirit. Balsi also adds Chris met a new team of doctors who may be able to help with her condition, which has become even more complicated since Chris left for the U.S. to seek treatment. Chris left for the United States in June to receive treatment for the rare disease eosinophilic granulomatosis with polyangitis. She has been undergoing various medical tests and treatments since 2018 when she revealed that she had been diagnosed with an autoimmune disease.